All right, here's a good excerpt from a short story in Jack London's Love of Life. It's a collection of short stories. This one starts out on page 125. The story is called The Unexpected. It is a simple matter to see the obvious, to do the expected. The tendency of the individual life is to be static rather than dynamic. And this tendency is made into a propulsion by civilization, where the obvious only is seen, and the unexpected rarely happens. When the unexpected does happen, however, and when it is of sufficiently grave import, the unfit perish. They do not see what is not obvious, are unable to do the unexpected, are incapable of adjusting their well-grooved lives to other and strange grooves. In short, when they come to an end of their own groove, they die. Life proceeds by a rule of thumb, and the unexpected is so very unexpected that when it happens, it is looked upon as an immorality. The effect of civilization is to impose human law upon environment until it becomes machine-like in its regularity. The objectionable is eliminated, and inevitable is foreseen. One is not even made wet by the rain nor cold by the frost, while death, instead of stalking about gruesome and accidental, becomes a prearranged pageant moving along a well-oiled groove to the family vault where the hinges are kept from rusting and the dust from the air is swept continually away. Man, that's powerful stuff. Um, I really think my man Chris Ryan, PhD, would like this a lot if he hasn't already read it. Um, I'm sure he has. He's a big reader. This idea that civilization has come along and set up grooves for us so we can just coast through our lives without thinking. This is not a new idea. This has been thought of pre-internet, pre-TV, pre-radio. This is something people have been wary about. Um, I think that we have to fight to be individuals the, the blob of civilization wants to suck us up and, and combine us into the mass as it moves slowly th through history, through time. And Jack London knew it too. This, this, is, um, this is the idea of living, I think I said this in my last video, but li li living an intentional life. You have to really think about what you're going to do with your time every day. Um, have a plan and ha live with virtues that y are your guns that you're going to stick to and um, make your choices based on those uh, and, and make sure that you're not just taking the easy grooves, the easy track through life. Um, that's tantamount, isn't it? It's, it's a little bit morbid, but death is real. And it's something I think about a lot is I think about, will I be happy on my deathbed? Well, I look back and say, I lived a good life. I lived a life that was me, authentic, that was made with the right choices. And I truly believe there are more important choices for me to make. There are things I want to do that I haven't yet done. And... Sometimes I feel like, you know, as I approach those choices, I'm like a cat, sort of stalking its prey, waiting for that right time to pounce on my life, take it, take it more 
aggressively under my command. For the time being, I'm working. I've got my hobbies that I do think are authentic. My running, my cooking. Cooking is oh, fantastic. What a good balance with the running, barbecuing, smoking meats, making cheeses, pickling, cooking dishes, stews and chilies and bread. Oh, baking bread. Fantastic stuff. The desserts, the cookies that I'm making, brownies, fudge. It's all just like hearty food and uh, fantastic stuff. And meanwhile, I'm about 9% body fat, 40 years old. And it sounds like a brag, but and maybe it slightly is. But what it, but it's, but it, it's important to me to have the, the health that I have, and to enjoy the food that I do, and then to read and to to devour stories either either um, with my eyes or my ears. Or both at the videos and that's very important and then to create art which is something that I have hit the pause button on working on my own book and I think it's time to start it again I've gotten 30,000 words in a little less than halfway 80,000 is the, pretty much the goal get there and if I'm not satisfied with the plot to add some more, but I think if I'm doing these things, and if you're out there listening and doing something similar, you know, your own path that is thoughtful, intentional, and isn't isn't simply uh, cruising along the grooves of life on your way to to your family's grave plot that's been dusted and well kept then uh, I wish you luck and I hope that that's going well